Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This is the continuation of my previous video tutorial there we had started learning how to handle exception in Spring MVC. So in previous video tutorial we have seen uh, we can define the uh, uh, exception handler method within the controller and that method you will have to annotate as at the rate exception handler and there you need to specify the exception type class. Here you can define your own custom class as well, custom exception class as well. And uh, return type of this method I had given a string which returns the basically view name of the uh, exception handler page. As uh, so here this uh, exception handler method returns runtime exception. So make sure that you have kept uh, runtime dot uh, JSP in your views directory and same page will be forwarded to the client and that we have seen in our previous video tutorial in this project right i have created another project with the same files i copied all files from my previous project and here uh, problem is problem with this kind of exception handling method uh, so here basically if you your uh, ha request handler method throws some kind of runtime exception or its subclasses then this method is getting called and this page is going to forward to the client but uh, some other exception like exception which is the subclass of exception class like IU exception, IU exception or some file not found exception this kind of exception occurs then this exception doesn't match right so in that case uh, server is going to forward the default error page which we have already seen in the previous example right so if you want uh, those kind of exception to be handled then you need to define now one more exception handler method and there you can specify the like exception dot class and which will handle uh, all type of uh, all type of exception and its subclass exception type right and you need to create one more jsp file like exception dot jsp and that will be forwarded to the client right that that's the problem you need to define the different handler method and uh, right and uh, this kind of approach comes with the some drawback like uh, here this uh, requ uh, exception handler method will be accessible for the only this controller class right because this code we have written this uh, exception handler method we have written within this controller right if some other if you have a, a, a another controller class then this will not be accessible right so basically this code we can put on the some on the global access so that other all controller within this package or uh, another package controller can access this uh, exception handler method so that's what we are going to learn in this video tutorial how to write global exception handler so exception handling is a cross cutting concern right it should be done for all the pointers in our application we have already looked into a spring aop that's why a spring uh, provides at the rate controller advice annotation that we can use with any class to define our global exception handler. The handler methods in global controller advice is the same as the controller based exception handler methods uh, which already we have defined over here and used when the controller class is not able to handle the exception right. So basically when any exception arises within the controller right within the any request uh, handler method in this controller then first of all controller will try to find any local method who is responsible to handle the exception or not if that method is not present then that will try to find the global exception handler class right so here what i'm going to do i'm going to create another class right global exception handler class which will be uh, accessible for the all controller in my application so let's right click on this project and let's create a class. I would give the package name as com.infotech.advice. You are free to choose any, any package name. And here I'm going to specify uh, uh, this uh, exception handler advice class as my controller advice. Uh, let's click on the finish button and this class i'm going to annotate as at the rate controller advice so we have a, another annotation at the rate controller advice 
right and this is uh, this is belong to the spring package right arc dot spring framework web dot bind dot annotation package now uh, this exception handler method i am going to remove from the uh, handler method and i'll keep in the this uh, advice control method and the rest of the things would be same nothing we need to change and if i run this application then let me show you the output you'll get the same a uh, similar output uh, what we got in the previous example All right so now uh, this jsp registration dot jsp page uh, got forwarded to the client and if user clicks on the register button then uh, call will go to the request handler method that is called uh, login success and this data form data is getting populated in the uh, student model class with the help of model attribute and uh, we have used binding results so if any kind of data binding error comes then that will store into the uh, binding results object and uh, here uh, you can see we are just querying the binding result if some error occurs in the binding results uh, related to the data binding then we are just for uh, just uh, keeping the uh, uh, same page i mean register.jsp uh, so that we can display some error message before that just we are extracting the user student name and we are calling is empty method so if you do not specify any user name in this text box and we click on the register button and uh, then request will go to this request handler method and here uh, a student dot get name will be amp either empty or null right if they, uh, this comes uh, null uh, from the uh, view then uh, calling on null any method will uh, come to the null pointer exception if this is coming empty and this will becomes true then you go inside and just we are simulating ex this exception basically intentionally uh, runtime exception and uh, in that case some exception will be arises and flow of execution will be uh, di uh, disrupted and basically uh, a spring framework will try to find the exception handler method first if exception handler method is in your application then matching exception handler method will be called so here in this case this is our matching exception handler so runtime exception uh, like null point exception is the uh, uh, subclass of uh, runtime exception so this exception is getting matched so uh, runtime dot jsp will be forwarded to the client if this if you haven't defined any exception handler method then uh, default page will be forwarded to the client and that will be generated by the container itself right and that uh, that we have already seen in the previous video tutorial that was not uh, that is that that didn't, didn't seems to be a, a very useful message for the end user that's why that's why we required a, a some custom exception handler page for the end user right so let's uh, click on the register button now and here we are getting so let me show which application is this okay so there is one more changes we have to do so this package we have to register for the auto scanning in our spring web application right a spring uh, configuration file so here let's configure this package for the auto scanning so here we have a context column component scan and base package you will have to specify this package name so that a spring framework will identify uh, this at the rate controller advice annotation and now let me run this application again now this exception handler method will be the common for all your controller classes and this reduces basically code duplication now if i click on the register button then see so saying that this page is getting forwarded to the end user and this is the meaningful page which we have designed right instead of sending the container generated page so that's all i have in this video tutorial here main uh, key points you will have to keep in mind if you define a global exception handler class like this then this request handler method will be common for all your controller classes right so th basically this reduces the code duplication in your application 
so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys so if you have any queries or any question then please do post below to the video i will try to answer those queries as soon as possible or if you have any kind of advice to improve my youtube channel then those kind of advices also you can post below to the video so thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description thanks